Hey, Terry, good morning. It's so good to see you. What's good? Always. <laughs> <laughs> when we came up with the Dow Leadership Academy, I remember I was sitting downtown in Baton Rouge and said, if this is going to happen, I've got to call Terry Simmons. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. And I cannot thank you enough for involving us. It has been as cathartic for me as it probably was for the young people and the mentors that were involved. We said, let's go to White Castle. Give us any male that is a sophomore in 2017 that wants to be a part of this initiative. But we said, let's wrap around this young man for the remaining three years of high school and then see what happens in the post-secondary. I don't want to paint a picture like these young people all came from extreme poverty. That's not the case. You know, they, 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 you had some low-income, non-traditional household composition, and you had others that come from the white picket fence, you know, dad's an operator, mom's working in the school system, and we were able to serve all of them in the same environment. You know, I always say this, if we want to grow a workforce, we have to groom a workforce. And you know, what, what this initiative was really about was reverse engineering the outcome on behalf of the community first, right? So we don't know if these young people are necessarily gonna go and work for Dow. But what we do know is that 80% um, of them are pursuing occupations that would, you know, could potentially lead to them working for Dow. Before we even talk careers, before we talk industry, before we talk salaries, let's talk about who you want to be before we just talk about what you want to be. We, we put these, this stuff down on paper. We, we built this curriculum for three years. Did, did the STEM work, did the technical piece of this that benefits Dow come first? Or like you said, does the social graces, financial literacy, leadership come first? And looking back now, three years ago, I, I, I think we did it right. I Absolutely. love that we started with the what do you stand for and who are you first. And it was a voluntary thing, which makes the level of engagement over the three years that much more amazing because these young people were giving up Saturday mornings from you know 10 o'clock to two o'clock, sometimes three o'clock. I mean, we, we worked with these young men in the school and with their school administration too, and teachers to support them. We had a great relationship, but it was Saturday mornings. And, and was it two Saturday mornings a month? Is that right, Terry? Two Saturday mornings a month uh, for basically 10 months out of the year. For the most part, it was just about holding them accountable to being academically engaged, right? And that's where the Dow mentors really, really uh, brought value because it got to the point where the school had an open line of communication with those mentors. So there was a couple times when those young people were you know, lacking academically and they reached out directly to the mentors and to their credit, some of them made home visits, some of them went to the school, some of them uh, volunteered their time to tutor these kids. So the, the Dow mentors would, of course, come into our office, you know, many times and sit there with Egypt and Dawn, and I could hear them discussing these children. Like, I mean, how cool was that, right? We had people, we had uh, representation uh, mentors from the lab. We had uh, human resources, uh, operators, engineers, chemists, you name it, right? So even, and, and then they, they were paired with a mentor one-on-one, -on -one, but you know, they had relationships with all of them. Terry, I tell you, you, you told me that, all right, Stacy, we're at the end of the three years. These, these kids have graduated um, and every single one of them graduated. I think the graduation rate in White Castle is about 73%. Um, we're talking 100% of them are enrolled in college right now. 90% um, are pursuing a STEM occupation. So the, the, you know, the outcomes are off the charts. You know, it, it's, it's just not even close. Well, Terry, uh, it, now we just have to figure out how to go do this in more places. I mean, that's what happens when you do good things and have good results, right? Oh, well, Stacy's gonna cut the check. What you mean? Like, that's <laughs> easy. That's easy. <laughs> Look, I, I can tell you the conversations are already happening in Dow. I mean, it, it's funny where it started, right? And oh my gosh, are we really going to do this? And and now doing it and having your data. Um, and I want this 
pilot class, I want these boys on this piece of paper right here to know that because of what they did and, and, and their success, Dow's gonna be able to do and will do this again. We'll, we'll do this in more Dow communities. We'll do everything we can to show other companies how to do this. If they were not successful, it wouldn't have been able to be passed down. And so two to their credit, it's gonna be able to be passed down. Let's go do it again. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye.